to Poema Backstage. We're glad that you've joined us. Make sure if you haven't, please go like and subscribe our YouTube page. Um, we're going to get right into The Robe, which was the third show that we did for Poema. Um, and this was a straight production. So there was no dancing and there was no singing. So we will get right to it. Chelsea, we'll start with you again because you being the associate director, switching gears once again from Singing in the Rain. How did that work for The Robe? And how is this different than the other shows that we do? Well, for, from Singing in the Rain to Robe was huge. We had a really big cast for Singing in the Rain, and we narrowed it down to, I think, maybe 20, mm. is that right? Like 20 people. Mm -hmm. So the cast interaction was very different. The rehearsal process was different. There was no music that we had to, you know, practice with, <sighs> no rehearsal tracks, um, no dancing that we had to go over and over again. Um, so that was really, really different, and that was the first time we'd really done that. We hadn't done musicals up to here. And then, um, what was your next question? Well, I mean, that was just, that was a legit, that's acting at its best, because you don't have anything, you're not singing, you're not dancing. So a lot of times, the singing and the dancing in the musical theater that we do, it carries the show. Mm -hmm. right. So this, yeah. you were definitely having to make sure your cast was, on point with yes. the acting because you don't have anything carrying the show, like the dancing right. and the singing. Mm -hmm. um, so the robe was very intense, I would say, yes. spiritually intense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and mm -hmm. Michael and Wesley <clears throat> were a huge part of the show. And Wesley, you had to play two roles. Yeah. So you, you flip-flopped days with roles. What roles did you play and how was that? Um, I played Caligula okay. and Sinatra Gallio. Um, They're completely com opposite. Com completely yeah. opposite characters where Gallio was like a concerned father, regal, um, and like kind of had like authority wherever he went. Mm -hmm. uh, Caligula was insane, in charge, Literally. should never have been yes. in charge, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, and so it was, it was difficult switching like um, because you had to... One be one hundred percent crazy, mm -hmm. or like you know one hundred percent fatherly, and it's just completely different. Mm -hmm. It was it was difficult. So that was fun. So while we're recording the show, we will definitely put up clips and videos and pictures of the different roles that these guys played, mm -hmm. because it's neat to see Wesley and then who else who dueled with you, Joey Hancock. Joey. Mm -hmm. So it's neat to see how they both played those roles, how differently they played those roles, mm -hmm. um, and how they had to make that switch. And Michael, you were... Yeah, I was uh, Centurion Paulus and Simon Peter. In the yes. same show. <laughs> In, the, In same the same show. show. Okay. Right. So yes. I can relate with yes. you mm -hmm. as far as like, you know, opposites. Yes, two very different roles. Uh, but it was great. It really stretched me, challenged me, so mm -hmm. I was thankful to, to have those roles. I think one thing, we opened the show with Jesus on the cross. Um, that was incredibly heavy. And I, as an audience member, once again, I, I could not stop crying. Like, and it was very powerful. It was loud mm -hmm. with the thunder mm -hmm. um, and the screaming and everything. So I just, I felt like people who came to that show really came to see and hear the plan of salvation. I think yeah. that was what was neat about this show. We're doing fun shows, we're keeping it light, uh, but then to do something so deep mm -hmm. yes. like this, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, it was, it was shaking. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm, I, can, I can imagine the stories that we'll hear and that some, some mm -hmm. that you have heard like about the show, but I just thought mm -hmm. as a straight show, Mm -hmm. It was performed well. It was very powerful. The message mm -hmm. was powerful. Um, and let's talk about Matt French, who played. Oh, he's mm -hmm. amazing. Incredible. Yeah. Um, Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He did an incredible job. It's such a heavy role. A very heavy role. Very heavy, because at first you're responsible for the death of Jesus. You don't know him from Adam. And then you go through this transformation where he's completely changed your life in second act. So I thought he did a really great job in balancing 
those. How was um, how was the stage design like with that? Because you know we've had some pretty intense uh, set builds. So with the robe, was that any harder? Was it easier because you're not you don't have a lot of people on stage. You have a smaller cast. Um, you're not dancing, so you don't have to worry about like the floor with tapping and everything. So how was that compared to other shows? Anybody I'd answer that? I think it's easier. Yeah, right? yeah. much yeah. easier. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we kind of designed uh, what's he called? Pterodactoids. Okay. Dactyls. We call them pterodactyls. Pterodactyls, <laughs> right? Per was it? Peri Periactoi Periactoys. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's just like a triangle and we cut out frames, mm -hmm. put them together, wrapped them with um, banners okay. for the different scenes. We had like the sky, we had a garden, we had what else? You had that room, didn't you? What? Oh, like the street scene yes. in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was very simple. Mm -hmm. um, we had furniture pieces that were very period. And so, yeah, in the columns, yeah. Mm -hmm. And those were actually, they used to be up in the church at really? CLF, and wow. they gave those to us to use. Oh, that's so, really cool. Yeah, it was cool. Mm -hmm. So it was very, very simple, very abstract. Your mind kind of puts the pieces together mm -hmm. as an audience member. And then also having all of the stage pieces that, like, completely trend, I don't know the word to use, but it just made the each scene so much so different with the mm -hmm. three four very distinct yes, yes. Yeah. periactoids mm -hmm. yes and it was great mm -hmm. i liked i liked that you did change it the lighting was good too mm -hmm. with that i mean and even when they did the cross scene um how real that was we what? actually scaled that down <laughs> The cross. Really? It was supposed mm. to be much bigger. Okay. But then we decided, oh, we probably can't get that actually into the building okay. if it's that big. Mm -hmm. So. Well, mm. I, um, on a funny, lighter note, when the spotlight is on Jesus on the cross, so I thought the makeup was done incredibly. Yes. Shout but out to Dario. Yeah, Dario. 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 Yeah. So, mm -hmm. was, okay, <clears throat> what was used? On his back, was it bacon? It was no. Oh, I thought it was bacon. <laughs> it looks like it. Oh. It looks a lot like it. But somebody no. said it was no. bacon. That's what that's no. what that's what Daria would call he it. He just called it that. Yeah, that oh, I thought bacon. that they legit put bacon on his oh back. My God. No. Okay. No. 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 Okay. It was just makeup. It was like prosthetics. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> like okay. Latex. Latex. Yeah. Latex. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That was very. That's, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. But, it was very real, though, mm -hmm. and it looked really good. Yeah. Um, I think overall, at the very end, when you kind of close it with how many Christians were martyred, mm -hmm. um, yeah. mm -hmm. when they talk about the disciples and everything, I thought that was neat mm -hmm. to show the audience. You know, that was a, a very real time, um, even though the robe was not, you know, it's a show, it's fiction. Um but putting things back into reality mm -hmm. of uh, martyrdom and everything that has happened since Jesus has died on the cross mm -hmm. to now. I thought that was neat to kind of wrap <laughs> all of that up and close out the show. But there's some funny stories. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yes. yeah, there's some funny stories. <laughs> uh, I heard a lot. <laughs> playing Centurion Paulus uh, in the script, he was a bit of a drunkard. Okay. Um, he had a slight problem. <laughs> um, and uh, one of my lines was uh, asking where the robe was because mm -hmm. I was bartering uh, with other Roman soldiers, you know, after, like while Jesus was being crucified mm -hmm. over his tunic, right? They cast lots for his garments, right? And so I won the robe in this gambling contest. And, and one of my lines is, you know, I say the robe, where's the robe? But in my Paulist voice, it sounds like, <laughs> The robe. Where's the robe? <laughs> and like, I people can't. love that. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're like, we just need to like, for every show after, just be like, hey, where's the robe? Yeah. And just have it, <laughs> like, pass it around. It's like a trophy, you know. And that's I mean, what he you called. played he called that part very yeah. well, very well. Mm -hmm. I remember being in the first rehearsal. We had a cold read, and it was while well, we were still working on singing in the rain, but we had a just a cold read for the robe and you you're new mm -hmm. newer 
and you read your part and you did the slurred <laughs> voice and we lost mm-hmm. it. It was I perfect. I just remember being there and like, well, this role is perfectly cast. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> that, but I mean, that's a hard transformation. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, and on stage to do that. So kudos to you. You did an incredible job and on then that. eating all of those grapes and bread. Was that like, real? It was real. Oh, I see how I, yeah. I think I was so encapsulated with the characters. I didn't realize you guys were really eating. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Were Daria's grapes real? Yeah. All of mm-hmm. that was real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's all. Usually awesome. anytime we're eating on stage, it's real. It's real. Okay. It's real. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good to know. I didn't know if you could do that, like with food in your mouth. Like I'm not. I've never been on stage right. like that, so I wouldn't know. You have to be strategic in when you put it in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because if you have a line coming up, mm-hmm. you need to not have that in your mouth, obviously. Okay. But if you've got some time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fuel <laughs> on stage. Yeah, it was <laughs> exactly. nice. That's awesome. Well, overall, I thought that was a great production. Um, heavy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I think perfectly timed for the year. And we, we performed that in August. Yep. So there were six shows. Uh, It was a great production to get churches involved, um, especially because of the message. So I would say that was an overall success, Mm -hmm. and the actors performed great. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Definitely comment. Um, If you have any questions that you want to ask us, we would love to be able to answer them. Um, Until next time. When we talk about White Christmas, bye!